Hi everybody, Mary here from A Recreated Life and today I'm doing another cooking video. Um, I'm going to make meatloaf and I'm going to do it in my crock pot. So that's a little different than what I normally do. Um, I just want to say thank you everybody for tuning in. I know that I've done a lot of cooking videos lately but uh, it's winter time and that's what I like to do in the winter. Um, and this is my time to experiment. Also today is a bitter cold day. When I got up this morning it was seven below zero with a wind chill factor made it 17 below zero. Um, it's mid morning now and it's only four, um, four below zero. <laughs> so uh, this is a cold, cold, bitter cold day. So um, what I'm doing is I wanted to get some ideas last night to get inspired for today's um, dinner. And I looked at my, I wanted something in the crock pot because I knew how cold it was. So I wanted something in the crock pot. I looked through my cookbooks and I found a recipe in there for meatloaf in the crock pot. Well, I have a meatloaf recipe that I absolutely love. And I thought, well, gee, I could do that. Use my recipe, but just do it in the crock pot. Um, I think one time years ago, I did do a meatloaf in the crock pot. It wasn't mine, but it was another one and it came out pretty good. So anyway, that's what I'm doing today. I'm gonna do my recipe for meatloaf in the crock pot. Okay, so my recipe calls for one and a half pounds of Hamburg. So I've taken out two pounds of Hamburg out of my freezer and I'm gonna save a half a pound for another recipe. Um, actually, this past week I did a video on a, um, a grocery haul that I did. And this past week I bought some, uh, had a coupon for um, tortilla chips. So what I'm gonna do with that other half pound of uh, Hamburg is I'm going to um, fry it up uh, with cook it up with some taco seasoning and I'm gonna do um, like uh, nachos I thought that would be good so I'll keep that half pound for my nachos later on whoops oh, I can do this without knocking over my camera and again this is I'm using um, it's organic uh, beef this is my son's beef he's a farmer he gives me it gives me the meat, so this is my son's organic Hamburg, pound and a half. Now, I did some research online because, you know, I a while ago I did a video on, um, when I did my planner, I did it, uh, mentioned in my video that I want to start uh, this year eating um, more according to my allergies, and I have an egg allergy. Then, as you know, meatloaf calls for egg as a binder. So I was thinking, hmm, what can I do to um, instead of egg? Well, I do have uh, uh, flaxseed. I've done flaxseed eggs quite a bit um, over the years. And excuse me, I just needed to get my fridge. So I've done flaxseed eggs quite a bit over the years. And so I thought, well. I did a little bit of research online and people had suggested to do it for the meatloaf so I said okay well I'm gonna give it a whirl so here's my flaxseed egg can you see it Here's my flaxseed egg it's a basically it's a tablespoon of flaxseed and this is ground flaxseed tablespoon of ground flaxseed to three tablespoons of water and you let it sit honestly I don't think it sat long enough so it needs to be thicker than that probably won't be by the time I get to my um, my uh, mixing up but anyway another suggestion I found online was to make it bind together better is to mix it so I've got my KitchenAid mixer out here and I'm gonna mix it now I had heard that mixing meat makes it tough but maybe that's what makes it hold together and if I'm putting it in the crock pot chances are I you know low slow cooking makes things way tender so I think this is the way to go so anyway my recipe calls for um, soft breadcrumbs Excuse me, soft breadcrumbs that you let sit in uh, milk. Well, um, I don't have any soft breadcrumbs because I've done away with my bread because I have a gluten intolerance and I shouldn't be using milk, but this is powdered milk that I used to cook with. So I took the, um, I did have some uh, gluten-free breadcrumbs, so just enough to go. So I took a half a cup of the gluten-free breadcrumbs, let it sit in the milk a cup of milk for an hour and that's what my directions call for so I'm gonna mix that up into my meat mixture it also calls for um, when you're done with the meatloaf and you put it in the oven to bake you make the sauce up and it's um 
It calls for ketchup, brown sugar, mustard, and water. Well, what is that? That's pretty much my barbecue sauce recipe. So I just took my barbecue sauce, a half a cup of that, and added some mustard. And I'm gonna add a little bit of water, but not much. So um, just maybe, I don't know, a quarter cup, I'd say. So I'm, that's what I'm gonna put over it. Once I put uh, my meatloaf in the crock pot, I'm gonna pour this over the top of it. Uh, so that's the juice that you have. So let me see, I'm gonna use my little whisk and kind of try to whisk it up a little bit better, get it incorporated a little bit better. So this is just basically my barbecue sauce with a little bit of mustard added. Um, did a great job making that sauce. Okay, so this looks like it normally does when I make it. All right, so now it says to mix in my milk and breadcrumb mixture, which I'm gonna do now. Hope you guys can see. I'm putting that in, and I always thought milk with meatloaf, I always thought that was a weird combo, but guys, it is so good. It really brings out, I don't know if it brings out the flavor. It adds a great flavor to your meatloaf. So, here we go. And like I said, you know, I, I don't know if I could use a milk alternative with this. I'm not supposed to have the dairy, but it's gonna it's gonna be in there. So here goes my flaxseed egg. I'm gonna put that in there. And that flaxseed, you know, it'll keep expanding as time goes on. So hopefully it will. I'm just gonna incorporate really, really well and keep my fingers crossed. Um, okay, so then also calls for quarter teaspoon of pepper. I'm just gonna do a couple cranks of pepper. My pepper grinder, I don't know if you guys can see. Oops, you kinda can't. All right, so I'm gonna move that a little closer. Okay, great. All right, so I'm just gonna do a few cranks on my pepper mill. This pepper mill, uh, it doesn't put out that much pepper, so I'm doing a few pepper grinds. Also calls for salt. I'm gonna do a little bit. This is my cake. Pink Himalayan sea salt, and you guys, I only ever use sea salt. It does not raise your blood pressure. So that's why I use it. And let's see what else it calls for. A teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Let me get my teaspoon out. Now, normally when I cook this meatloaf, I'd have the oven going right now set to 400, and I'd cook it for an hour and 15 minutes. But love that Worcestershire flavoring. So if I put a little extra, that's perfectly fine. So um, it also calls for uh, minced onions. So I am going to put onion powder because that's what I have. Surprisingly, what it doesn't call for, and what it doesn't call for is uh, garlic. <laughs> and I love garlic, but I'm going to leave it out of this recipe for the time being. So, all right, so here goes. I'm gonna start mixing and let me just make sure I've got everything. Breadcrumbs, milk, hamburg, the egg, pepper, Worcestershire, onion. I got all the mixings for the, yeah. Okay, so here goes. We're gonna see how this mixes up. You guys can see it pretty good. And just gonna let that go for a few minutes while it all gets mixed up. I want to make sure it's well incorporated. It's, it seems to be holding together okay. We shall see. So today, while that's mixing, I just want to let you guys know my plan for today is I'm going to have meatloaf for tonight's dinner. Meatloaf mashed potatoes, carrots, and I'm making some um, uh, allergy-free brownies. I'll go over that in a minute, too. So it looks pretty well mixed up, in my opinion. So I'm going to... I'm going to make a loaf out of it and put it in my crock pot. But before I do, I want to show you my crock pot because I've done something different to it. This was some more suggestions that I saw online I want to show you guys. Hold on. Okay, so um, I want to show you guys my 
crock pot. Look what I've done with my crock pot. Okay, so what I've done is I took um, some um, tin foil and I made um, I made some kind of like little handles. When I'm done cooking, I'm going to be able to pull up this meatloaf and take it out of here without it breaking apart. Well, that's the plan anyway. Um, I have seen this done before, but again, uh, the last time I made it, oh, so many years ago, I didn't do that, and it was difficult to get out of the crock pot. So I thought, well, this will help it. And um, plus, if it is going to be, um, you know, real soft from cooking all day long, you're going to need something to get it out of that crock pot. Okay, so let me move my mixer aside. Try to form a try to form a loaf here. No way to put the camera here, guys. I'll do it right here. Okay, so this is a pound and a half of meat. I might just put it right in the crock pot and then try to form you know a loaf while it's in there. That'll probably be easiest. goes. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of pile it in there and try as best I can to do some type of <laughs> loaf-ish looking uh, meatloaf. I mean, uh, loaf-ish looking. I want the sauce to get around, be able to get around the edges, but I don't want it to be too thick in the middle. So I'm trying to flatten it out a tad so it can spread out. This crock pot's plenty big. And now I'm going to mix in, I mean not mix in, but pour in and top it with my beautiful sauce. This is going to smell so good, you guys. This, I, I absolutely love this meatloaf recipe. It's so good on a cold winter day. It's so homey and comforting and, oh, it's comfort food at its best. So, I'm just going to spread that around on there, make sure every bit of it's covered. This smells, already smells so, so, so good. So, I'm going to put the cover on. And even that tin foil just kind of, you know, it just kind of um, mushes around the handles. So, it's not a problem to, to uh, you know, put the cover on. So, here we go. I'm going to plug this in. And, uh, like I said, it's mid-morning. And I'm going to keep that there. Whoops all day long and we shall see what all happens. Let's see, let me make sure I got it on low. And I'm sure my house is gonna smell fabulous a little bit later on. So there it is, meatloaf in the crock pot. I will jump back on when it's dinner time and show you guys my fabulous meatloaf in the crock pot. Okay guys, it's dinner time. So the um, meatloaf came out beautifully. Uh, I've got carrots and po mashed potatoes to go with it. And my beautiful, fabulous brownies. I already took a chunk of for a snack. Um, okay, so I think by looking at it, it's probably a good thing that I put the handles on there so I, I'll be able to get it out when time comes. However, for right now, I am just going to take a bit of it to eat for tonight's dinner. And then I will later on put it um, you know put it in the uh, uh, dish that I'm gonna store it in. oh my gosh it smells so yummy you guys okay came all great it's all cooked in the middle okay I'm not actually quite sure how I'm gonna take this out and this is the dish I'm gonna store it in so I'm really not quite sure how that's all gonna go I may have to just uh, you know, take it out with a spoon anyway. Um, I can see how that would help if you were going to put it on a platter and serve it right away. Um, but for me, I, you know, being a one person, I know that I'm going to be uh, storing most of it in the fridge. So anyway, there you have it, you guys. Meatloaf in the crock pot came out fantastic. Oh, yum. Look how delicious. I can't wait. It smells so good. And my beautiful brownies. This is a perfect meal for a cold, wintry night. So, it, good news is, it did warm up. It's about 15 degrees right now. It's about 5.30 at night. The bad news is that we're supposed to get like around, I think, 5 to 8 inches of snow tonight. So, it warmed up, but we are going to get snow. Oh, well, got to love it, right? We're in a snow belt. So, 
Anyway, you guys, thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And um, I will see you soon. Bye-bye.